very strange happenings in the Catholic Church, Pope Francis bans traditional Latin Mass. He's cracked down on conservative Catholics. This happened on Friday. He's imposing harsh new restrictions on traditional Latin Mass. This is on for conservative Catholics. In his apostolic letter titled Tradition Traditionis Custodis, Guardians of Tradition, the Pope has banned the celebration of the traditional Latin Mass known as Tridentine Mass in Catholic parishes, and he lifted existing accommodation to priests who wish to perform it. Breitbart reports local bishops may designate one or more locations where the faithful adherents of traditional groups may gather for the Eucharistic celebration, he declares, but not, however, in the parochial churches. While providing for the spiritual needs of groups, quote, that celebrate according to the Missal antecedent to the reform of 1970, and quote, the Pope writes, bishops are estab established to establish a series of new strictures and to refrain from authorizing the establishment of new groups. Kindly support my Patreon account since YouTube has again demonetized my YouTube channel. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below. So while providing for the spiritual needs of groups, the celeb to set that celebrate according to the missile antecedent to the reform of 1970, the Pope writes that bishops are to establish a series of new strictures and to refrain from authorizing the establishment of new groups. The present letter reverses measures to relax restrictions on the use of the traditional form by Pope Benedict XVI, who in 2007 noted that many of the faithful have continued to be attached, quote, with love and affection to the earlier liturgical forms which had deeply shaped their culture and spirit." End quote. In recognition of this diversity, Pope Paul, John Paul II sought greater inclusiveness by granting the faculty of using the older form and exhorted bishops to make broad and generous use of this faculty on behalf of all the faithful who sought it, Benedict wrote. Benedict went on to establish the Roman Missal promulgated by Pope Paul VI is the ordinary expression of the Lex Orandi, or rule of prayer, of the Catholic Church and the Latin Rite, whereas the Roman Missal promulgated by St. Pius V is nonetheless to be considered an extraordinary expression of the same Lex Orandi, or rule of the prayer, of the Church and duly honored for its venerable and ancient usage. For his part, Pope Francis has now asserted that the 1970 Roman Missal is not the ordinary expression, but rather the unique expression of the Lex Orandi, rule of prayer, of the Roman Rite, emphasis added. The new exclusive ruling seems to eliminate the older form of the Mass as a legitimate expression of the Lex Orandi of the Church despite its venerable tradition. Pope Benedict had granted broad faculties to Catholic priests who wished to say masses in private using the Roman Missal published in 1962, declaring that to do so the priests need no permission from the apostolic see or from his, ordinary, his own ordinary. Uh, so a private mass in private uses of private masses. I know when we have masses in the Christian Orthodox Church, anyone is uh, allowed to attend and have partake in the uh, body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. You can't shut the doors and have a private holy liturgy. God gave himself for all who wish to come to him. Now going back to this, according to Francis's new restrictions, priests who wish to celebrate using the Roman Missal of 1962, quote, should submit a formal request to the diocesan uh, bishop who shall consult the apostolic see before granting this authoris authorization. So you see, the priest has to make an application to his bishop, and the bishop has to get the, uh, the okay from Rome. Can you imagine? It would probably get the priest blacklisted, obviously. Now, previous norms, instructions, permissions, and customs that do not conform to the provisions of the present 
motu proprio are abrogated Francis decrees. The Vatican's own website asserts that according to the present norms, the Latin language still holds primacy of place as that language which, based on principle, the Church prefers, even though she recognizes that the vernacular can be useful for the faithful. Well, how uh, the heck can you understand what is being said in the Holy Liturgy if you don't hear the language that you understand? Obviously. Now, the Vatican goes on to note that Latin should be safeguarded as a precious inheritance of the Western liturgical tradition. The Code of Canon Law, which governs church activity and liturgy, similarly stipulates the Eucharistic celebration is to be carried out in the Latin language or in another language provided that the liturgical texts have been legitimately approved. Well, of course, that goes without saying. St. John Paul II urged the continued use of Latin in the church to maintain ties with its own history and traditions. Okay, what about the people that are just everyday people? They don't understand language of Latin, the Latin. So now the Roman church has special obligations towards Latin, the splendid language of ancient Rome, he wrote, adding that she must manifest them wherever the occasion presents itself. I bet you even Italians of today can't understand the church Latin. But anyway, I'm not Italian, so I don't know. Now, the Pope Francis justified the reversal of the more inclusive approach of his predecessors by insisting that their pastoral kindness, quote, was exploited to widen the gaps, reinforce the divergences, and encourage disagreements that injure the church, block her path, and expose her to the peril of division. End quote. This is by Sean Adeltabadabai on News Punch. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support.